And right now we are going to take a look at how news was covered before the internet, photography, or TV. Here's Eric Siever with more. Yeah, good evening, Jimmy. Before Instagram or even photography, there was only one way to capture a historical event and show it to other people, and that was painting. Now, here to tell us more about that is Betsy Wiesman. She is a curator here at the Cleveland Museum of Art. Good evening, Betsy. Hi, Eric. All right, so tell us about this painting here and the exhibit, how these paintings were selected. The paintings for this exhibition were selected because they represent specific historic events. They belong to a broad category of paintings called view paintings, which represent given locations uh, that we all know with very high degree of accuracy. But these give us a window onto the 18th century and events as they happened. So the event in this particular painting, talk about that, and I understand it has sort of a, an opinion, or a, a company piece. It does. This is a painting by Hubert Robert that documents the burning of the Opera House in Paris in 1781. It's an absolutely massive painting. We see flames shooting from the ruins of the building up into the sky, and down in the foreground we see people madly trying to race away from this conflagration. What I find so fascinating is that Robert, the same artist that did this, also did a much smaller, more um, subdued painting. The sequel, maybe. The sequel. Um, <laughs> this is the morning after. We don't see the flames. We don't see the ruins. We just see this huge billow of smoke obscuring uh, the sky and bits of the landscape and spectators in the foreground trying to absorb what happened. Beautiful. So this is literally getting history from uh, from a first person experience. Absolutely. I love that. Well, Jimmy, we'll send it back to you, but I got to say before we go, I am really happy to have the microphones and the cameras cuz I don't think I could do that. 